In 1970, the U.S. Mint in San Francisco churned out over 693 million Lincoln cents. The S Mint mark beneath the date signifies the San Francisco branch of the U.S. Mint. Despite the high mintage, finding a circulated 1970 S cent, whether it's the large date or small date variety, isn't too challenging. However, if you scrutinize the obverse lettering and spot any doubled elements, you could be holding on to a very valuable scent. The guidebook variety displays pronounced die doubling on all obverse lettering, especially noticeable on Liberty and In God We Trust, with lesser doubling on the date. This red gem earned a grade of MS65 by PCGS and fetched $3,600 at Heritage Auctions. In the world of numismatics, even seemingly ordinary pocket change can hold surprising value. Take, for example, the Jefferson five-cent coin that sold for a whopping $12,000. The key to unlocking such a huge premium lies in a tiny detail, the mint mark on the backside of the coin. This particular coin is the 1942D Jefferson nickel. To see if you have a rare gem on your hands, flip the coin to the tail side and closely inspect the mint mark D which indicates the Denver Mint. Uh, if you notice any irregularity, such as something protruding from the bottom of the D, then congratulations, you may have a rare and valuable repunch D over horizontal D error nickel. This error likely occurred due to a misalignment or error in the minting process. When the mint mark was, was punched onto the die, it was either not aligned properly with the existing mint mark impression or the punch was not properly centered, resulting in the original mint mark still being partially visible. This variety is highly sought after by collectors due to its distinctive appearance and the rarity of such errors. Cherry Picker's guidebook describes the 1942D over horizontal D as the rarest of the major Jefferson nickel varieties in mint state. This gem was graded as MS66 with full steps by PCGS. The reverse and the left obverse are toned pumpkin gold, while the right obverse is powder blue and rose red, presenting a lustrous and boldly struck example of this blundered mint mark variety. It ended up selling for $12,000 at Heritage Auctions. Here we have a fascinating piece. A 1943 Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchette. This error coin is not just rare, it's highly coveted, especially in mint state 666. In 1943, the U.S. Mint produced scents on zinc-coated steel planchettes, giving them a silvery appearance when newly minted. This made it easier for a wrong planchette error like this one to slip past the mint's checks without any need for help from a coiner or other employee. This particular coin is a standout example, well-struck and perfectly centered on the silver dime planchette. The only area showing weakness is the rims, a result of the smaller flan. Its bright and satiny appearance is complemented by untoned silver luster and an absence of abrasions, adding to its allure. This exceptional piece was sold for $8,400, a testament to its rarity and appeal among collectors of error coins. Do you happen to have a 2,000p Sacagawea dollar in your possession? If so, you might be sitting on a potential gold mine. The key to unlocking its hidden value lies in the details on the tail side of the coin's reverse design. Grab a magnifying glass and take a close look at this side of the coin. Unlike the regular $2,000p dollar coin, this rare die variety displays enhanced motifs of tail feathers featuring diagonal lines that are absent in normal Sacagawea dollars. If you spot these distinct details, then you might just own a rare Cheerios dollar. The fine detailing on the eagle's tail feathers sets this coin apart from the common circulation coins issued in 2000. This particular a piece was part of a promotional giveaway included in boxes of Cheerios breakfast cereal. Along with the Sacagawea dollar, the promotion also included a newly struck 2000 Lincoln cent, though the Cheerios cents have no distinguishing feature to differentiate them from ordinary coins struck for circulation. The Cheerios dollar, however, holds significant importance for Sacagawea dollar collectors and stands as the undisputed key to the series. This MS-68 piece is fully struck and practically pristine, showcasing satiny golden surfaces. This lot even includes the Lincoln scent from the cereal promotion, adding to its collectible appeal. Behold, a remarkable 1943S nickel struck on a steel scent planchette, a true numismatic marvel. 
Graded Mint State 66 by NGC, this silver-gray premium gem dazzles with coruscating luster and remains essentially pristine. What makes this piece even more extraordinary is its remarkable detail on the steps, a feature that often wears quickly on coins due to circulation. Slightly uncentered, with a full rim at 9 o'clock on each side while the right side legends are partly off the flan, this coin's composition tells a fascinating story. The date itself exhibits metal flow toward the edge, a characteristic of a wrong planchette error. The undersized flan could not completely fill the dies, resulting in this unique error, combination of a steel scent planchette struck with nickel dies. Steel scents were only struck in 1943, and aside from a handful of wrong planchette errors, such pieces are exceedingly rare. To add to its allure, the error hobby did not exist at that time, meaning very few of these error coins were set aside. This marvelous piece of numismatic history ended up selling for an impressive $14,950 at Heritage Auctions, a testament to its rarity and appeal among collectors.